English Premier League side Stoke City have made a recent habit of travelling to America for their pre-season preparations. But coming to the States is nothing new for the Potters. This is Cleveland, Ohio, and the apartment building shown once served as the Pick Carter Hotel. In 1967, the Pick Carter was home to a Stoke City team, including England's World Cup winners Gordon Banks and George Eastham. The Potters were one of 12 touring teams playing in the inaugural United Soccer Association tournament. Head coach Tony Warrington's side became known as the Cleveland Stokers for the seven-week summer league. Back in those days, the Carter Coffee Shop and Carter Bar faced onto Prospect Avenue, while inside you could probably find Stokes' captain Morris Setters and striker Roy Vernon enjoying a frosty beer in the Annie Oakley Wild West theme bar. The Stokers franchise was owned by a frozen food magnate named Vernon Stouffer, who also happened to be the owner of the Cleveland Indians baseball team. Consequently, the Stokers played their six home games at the Cleveland Municipal Stadium, a 78,000 seat venue on the banks of Lake Erie, which was the home of the Indians and the Cleveland Browns football team. The original structure was demolished in 1996 to make way for a new home for the Cleveland Browns, which sits behind me at the very same site. So it would have been somewhere on the field behind me that Vernon Stouffer walked out on the 31st of May 1967 to introduce the touring Stoke City players to the 9,700 and so fans that turned out for the home opener against Chicago Mustangs, who were in effect calorie from Italy. Unfortunately for Stouffer, that was as big as it got. His team's attendance has dropped to about 6,500 on average over the course of the six games that they played. By the end of the 1967 United Soccer Association season, Stouffer bailed out of soccer just as quickly as he'd bought in. The Stokers continued for one more year, which was the inaugural North American Soccer League season. But then after that, they disappeared into the mists of US soccer history.